in this episode. Let's go! Good evening neonates and welcome to Vampire Bloodlines, the very next episode in which we are finally going to leave Santa Monica and visit downtown because we gotta go and report to the prince that we finished finally the first quest that he has given to us. We haven't met this guy since the very introduction where he killed our sire and was supposed to probably kill ourselves, so I think this will be a very interesting meeting. But first of all, before going to downtown, I want to go back to my apartment and check out if we have any more emails. Also, there is a quest that we have uh, with the Arthur Kilpatrick that is kind of hinting the fact that we have to visit one of the other apartments that are located above the pawn shop, so probably one of our neighbors. Uh, let's go there and check out and yeah, let's 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 go. The bones of your ancestors will rise up and reclaim the flesh that they lent their sorry progeny. If this is a fortune telling, then I am a little bit spooked. My earring looks so classy. Let's go there. I'm a little bit low on blood. Is there anyone hiding in the corners? I think I need to get someone in the shadows. Have you guys seen the movie called What We Do in the Shadows? I really, really recommend this movie. It's basically a comedy about vampires and it's lovely. I think it's one of the best comedies about vampires ever made. Much better than Vampire Sucks or anything like that. It would be awesome if we can share a little bit of a vampire movies with each other. I heard there are many I haven't watched. They're absolutely amazing. And from myself, I'd recommend you guys Only Lovers Left Alive, which is my favorite vampire movie. Even better, I think so, than Interview with a Vampire or Queen of the Damned. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful movie. Okay, we have two people there, three people. Maybe I can get one of them. I think you will see me if I will do this. Let me let me try. No one saw me. That was amazing. God damn it. Yeah, that was too much, I guess. Oh, you know what? Let's do it not right away. We need to agree with the fact that we are not the ones that should should just go around the society. We don't belong in there. We belong in the sewers. With our little friends rats. See? They're helpful. Get all the blood from them. The street is pretty empty, so shouldn't be a problem just to walk through that. Have I received any love letters when I was outside? None. I wonder why. I was such a beauty when I was alive. I thought someone would send the letters to me. Well, anyway, check it out. Email. The first move. The White King moves to protect his pawn. I believe I am the pawn. Um, in the very mysterious mails that friend sends to me. But who the hell is the White King? He moves to protect the pawn. Hmm. Interesting. What about the TV? A massive explosion rocked Santa Monica tonight, sending several fireballs into the sky and prompting a lockdown of the warehouse district where the explosions took place. Early reports suggest that the warehouse destroyed in the explosion was being used in a weapon smuggling operation and that the source of the detonation possibly came from a military-grade explosive being stored at the site. Authorities say it is still too early to speculate on whether there is some terrorist connection to these events, though they have not ruled out the possibility. Stay tuned to Channel 3 for further updates. So, on one hand, they say I might be a terrorist. On the other hand, it was a weapon smuggling site, so something just could explode in there. There was no one that was really guilty of it. No one really expected caused the explosion. Right. Right. I'm fine. I'm fine. No one will suspect me. Let's go this this way. And here. Ah, come on. Oh, there's something new in this apartment. See? This is the apartment that we had to visit 
because of the quest from Arthur Kilpatrick, who is the bondsman, and he has asked you to find some clue as to where Maddie, Mike Durbin, has gone. Mr. Durbin's lady friend, Marianne Murrieta, put up money for the bond. She lives in an apartment above the pawn shop. Cool. Hey, Mayor, it's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Mm-hmm. So I have intercepted a message from Mr. Durbin. He is headed downtown to the Skyline Apartments, 2A, the residence of a Mr. Milton. He's also expecting a call from someone named Reno. Should report back to Arthur. Okay. So let's go report back to Arthur and on the way there, let's just head to the asylum club for a moment, have a little party. Because we did a lot in the past night. We caused the damn explosion. We are a freaking LA terrorists. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, we still have a quest to do in the blood bank, which is the quest to bring Vandal um, the victim to drain the blood from. And I think I know who we are going to bring in there. We haven't met that person in the game yet, but we will meet it in the downtown soon. For a second, music will be muted, but as soon as I will enter the conversation, you will hear it in the background. I hope no copyright claims will cause a trouble for that. Hey, girl. Hey, Nox, what's going on? Yeah, not much. Just waiting around for my master. The master you couldn't talk about. Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Oh, man, his name's Bertram Tung. He's a Nosferatu. Oh, what do we do for him? Oh, man. Wow. Bertram had me. This Asian dude who's been poking around Santa Monica. But she thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. Mm, so what's the problem? Oh man, this guy, this, this thing, got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time. Like, up in the distance watching me, he'll warp up next to me. Oh man, the this Want me to take care of it? Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Driver's license? Shouldn't that tell you who he is? No, the picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, take it! Alright, I'll take care of it. Come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. Ah, uh, sounds good, Nox. I have a couple of questions. Oh, man, yeah, sure. What do you want to know? Do you like being a ghoul? I think I asked you that before, but... It's awesome! Man, after that first date the vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. Felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Uh, can I bounce a few more questions? Oh, man, yeah, sure. What do you want to know? Hmm, actually, I need to get out of here later. Let me hide somewhere in the corner and quietly check out what we got from this guy. All right, let's do it here somewhere. Check it out. Driver's license. Uh, California driver's license. The name on the license is Virgil Crump. Maybe you can find him in the in the Kilpatrick's computer. There are a lot of names in there. Should be enough. Hey Arthur, I have some stuff for you. Hey there, hot stuff. I'm a hot stuff. You're the only person in this game that would ever call me a hot stuff. Thank you so much, Arthur. I've got some info about Maddie. So what'd you find out about Muddy? Well, looks like he skipped town. I don't know where he is, but I actually know. He fled someplace downtown. All right then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. You can find me on American Dollars. All oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Thanks. See you around then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will later. Let's do it. All right, so Virgil Crump, right? AF? Crump V, there we go. 
Bond written 0325.02, two counts public disturbance, drunk annuity, case 766141, bond amount $5,000, type of bond cash. Paid in full. Notes, local void subjects corpse identified, being held at the medical clinic morgue. Authorities notifying next of kin. Alright, let's go to the morgue then. We gotta find this guy. Thank you. Thank you that for putting me into a morgue. This is something I pretty enjoy. You check me out, dude! He literally checks me out with this weird look on his face, like... Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's go. So now, off to the clinic, and I believe that the morgue was downstairs. Somewhere next to the blood bank. So we can actually go through there, I think so. Alright, this way... He's still mad at me, so I won't even talk to him. Let me open these doors. Try to find a way we gotta go through. Was it there? Probably not. Oh, there's a PC. Does it work? Ah, oh, the freezer's PC. Of course. I do not need that now. This is closed. This is the place where... Where Lily was drained. And I think this is a place that leads to the morgue. Ah, come on! Hello, mister. Is there any cameras in there? I don't think so. Hi. Success. Silver ring. Foxy boxes key. It's just a key. There's not much to say about it. Interesting. Plus doors. God damn! Physics. Physics, really. Maybe for that. Up there. There we go. God damn. Cadavers. And the password is cowbell. Of course. We need more cowbell in every game. A bobo G. Wouldn't suggest subject was beaten to death with a baseball bat. Cramp. V. Subject died from a heart failure. Personal items in storage B. Jane Doe. Subject apparently died of indeterminate causes. Note, subject's body contained only one pint of blood. Full play suspected. Hmm. Full C. Severally beaten to death. Something about the way this one looked made me want to lock it in the freezer. Perry D. Perry D. Subject apparently choked to death on ham and or cheese. Oh, that's sad. Alright, but we have a key to Foxy Boxes. So I think this is the next place we gotta go to. Oh, and this, oh, this leads us back there. What about these doors? There's a Malcolm's office key. Which we kind of don't need now, but that's okay. One thing, when we are here, I want to show you something, guys. I think it was there. In the office we've been to before. Patients. There is one patient I want to talk about. It's H. Poe. It's Heather Poe, the girl that we saved, so... She had ruptured organs, lacerations, internal bleeding, and condition was critical, but we saved her life, and I think we'll see her again later in the game. So, just wanted to say that she's mentioned in this PC. Okay, can I go this way now? Yeah, I can. Bye. And now on to Foxy Boxes, which I think we're on this street. Somewhere there. Is there anyone waiting for us here? Yeah, Foxy Boxes, there we go. Let's go. Go, 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 go! Welcome to the place. The place with cups. Cups are not helping us that much. What about this place? Foxy Boxes! That's a cute fox in there. Time to go to the PC. Reports. 
My initial observations of the city indicate that the Kainites here are both scattered and unorganized. There are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. I shall continue to watch and listen. Three, so Janet, Therese, and Bertram Tuck. He didn't know about me. 10, 18, 04. These canines are a curious and fragile race. They waste the gift of their immortality on petty skimmings and fleshly gain. We will have little problem making the city our own. 10.21.04 It seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the canines. A Nosferatu, I believe they are called. Bertram! He has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance uh, to a bumbling mortal fool. I have begun to follow the so-called spy, a small amusing respite from my usual duties. It seems they have drawn the attention of a newcomer, an agent of the prince. This is us. I know very little about this individual, but the agent seems much more resourceful than most canines I have observed. I will prepare myself in the event that our path cross. The agent of whom I spoke before has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crump. An authorization seems imminent. Okay. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. You will find little resistance if you come here in force. So, this guy seems to know a lot of, about Kainites and he knows a lot about vampires, but he's not a vampire, is he? He's some kind of an Asian vampire, as Nox told us, which are different. We'll know more about them in the future. So, let's save the game and let's go in. Because he knows I'm there, so we shouldn't hide this fact right now. Hello. Hello. Are you coming there? That was great! That was amazing! Shingunto. This is mass produced version of the traditional Japanese katana. Not as effective as a real one, but quite dangerous nevertheless. I'm happy with this one. Wow! How they got into frenzy? My humanity is full! There are no masquerade violations. Humanity is full. I think he had to cast something on me. And I didn't know that this is his ability before. Because I think in the vanilla game or in previous patches, he didn't have the ability to cause us to to go in a frenzy. That's amazing. Okay, I've given myself one point to melee and one to obfuscate, and this is what we'll do. All right, let's go. That was great. He caused me to frenzy. And this actually gave me a lot more strength to kill him. That was great. I didn't have to even bother killing him. That was absolutely lovely. Let's go back to the asylum and report to Nux uh, that we did the duty. Let's go. Hey, so like, how are you doing on that thing we talked about? I spoke with Bertram, first of all. Oh, cool. You'll be glad once we get this problem taken care of. Uh, I already did. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, thank God. Oh. Yes! That thing was hounding me like every night. Look, still haven't heard anything from Bertram. Sorry, okay? I'll, I'll still let him know, but for now, I have no way to repay you. Do you have any idea what thing what that thing was? Bertram said it's like a vampire. Different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He said lots of them have been coming to California for some reason. I don't know. That's interesting. I better be going. Okay, let's run to Bertram now, and maybe he will tell us a little bit more about those Asian vampires. Skies are all rotten, and the storm is our death sentence. I agree with you. The roots. What do you need? 
Have you heard anything about the serial killer, first of all? Those murders are definitely the work of Kindred. Probably some Kate of getting revenge on everyone who made fun of him in high school. Once the sheriff tracks this guy down, they're gonna make one hell of an example of him. Caitiff? Caitiff are just riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society. Don't know their clan, mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. I want you to ask about something else. Sure. Son is dead. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory. In a moment. What do you need? I met your girl on Nox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. You knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. It sure didn't seem like he was expecting me. Come on, Fledgling, don't ever think you're ahead of the ball in this game. No matter what action you take, some kindred you never even met already foresaw it and found a way to profit from it. God damn it! But he needs my help! I killed an Asian vampire who was stalking him! No. You helped me remove a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Pretty good actor, that Knox, huh? That's not very nice. Don't take it hard, Cupcake. I won't be the last elder to milk you for a favor. <sighs> I'm out of here. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory. <sighs> They used me. I gotta go back to Nox and check out if he can actually tell me something about this little actor. So Nox has nothing to say to us, unfortunately, so we can't even guilt trip him. Uh, but let's talk with the barman for a second. Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but even beer goggles have their limits, you know. If you were hoping to find someone drunk enough to go home with you. What do you know about uh, Therese and Jeanette? They cut me a check every two weeks. End of discussion. I need someone to tell my troubles to. Oh boy. My pet iguana just died. Yeah. In the card game of life, I got dealt a hand of jack squats. Uh -huh. Sweet lady age, here I come. Right. You gonna buy a drink or what? Don't touch the stuff, sorry. Goodbye. I just really loved my pet iguana, okay? And I'm sad now. Let's go and find the cab. The cab should be somewhere there waiting for me. And let's take the cab to downtown. Where's the cab though? Cabalicious? Not really, where's the cab? Maybe somewhere there though. Cabby? Oh my god, there's no cab. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? There's supposed to be a cab that will take you to downtown. Can't just go to the bus stop. Is it enough? Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Smoke shop? Oh, I'm going to the smoke shop. That's interesting. What is this place? Oh dear. Are you, are you not well? It's nothing, excuse me. I don't know this location! What is this place? That's uh, amazing! Okay, I think I, I, I can't do anything in there yet, but... That's great. The only thing that makes me really sad is the fact that the cap is nowhere to be found. Okay, so, I'm incredibly stupid. He said, Bertram Tank, in the conversation with me, he said explicitly, with my face, I can't use a cab. So, although I can walk right next to people and they are not seeing anything wrong with me because of my super stealth skills, I can't use a cab. So, obviously, as an Osferatu, the cab doesn't appear. We gotta go through the sewers. And because I 
didn't play that strat before. I had no idea about this. Maybe somewhere here? Oh, downtown! There we go! Oh, I was afraid for a moment there. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, lick. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. Ouch! Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. For fool, hooray! Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Thanks for the help for the second time. Should have been more careful, newbie. You should stick to the sewers. I remember you from the cut. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. So smexy. Oh my god. He's amazing. Um, and he saved us two times already, so we owe him big. We gotta go there to the last round, to the place that we were actually invited before by Jack, the Jack that we met in the tutorial, a very awesome person. So I think we will meet both of them there and welcome to downtown. Oh my god. There will be tons of things to exploring there. So first of all, this place looks very welcoming. So I think before we'll even head down to the, the Lacroix Tower, which is this wonderful building, we gotta go inside and check it out. Oh, hello? <laughs> Calm down, what happened here? No, don't kill me! Please, please don't kill me! Help! I'm not going to kill you, tell me what's going on! <laughs> right, you stay here and mumble incoherently, I'll be back. So what's going on in there? I'm fine! Everything looks good! Oh, okay. Everything is fine. Stop, stop screaming. There's nothing to be afraid of. Only me. I am the one to be afraid of. I'm a vampire. I can kill people. You should be afraid of me. This way? Some cameras in there. Interesting. Here. Come on. There we go. That's, well, interesting. This way? Great! 
Oh, so that was the lady. She was right there. Okay. Yeah, that's a very inviting place. Let's go there. Sure. It's a bloody place. It's for sure very safe. Very safe, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just a mental asylum, but it's whole blood and stuff. Really, everything is fine. There we go. Can we go down there? No. I don't think so. What about this place? Okay. Well, there's a booty. And some ritual going on in there. I love it. Let's go in. Hello? Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. You ate that kind, that's disgusting. Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? Who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Are we going to eat him? Eventually. He'll never come down here. He's scared out of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. If it has to be this way, I'll take care of it right now. Well, Pisha. You are interesting. Well, I'm not sure how to pronounce that clan name, but as far as I know, they're called Nagaraja or Nagaraja. Nagaraja? I don't know. It's, it's, yeah, it's pronounced N-A-G-A-R-A-J-A, -A -A, basically. I think so. I think I pronounced it right. Anyway, um, they are the kind of vampires, or not really vampires, but uh, the monsters, just like us, that not only has to drink blood, but also eat the flesh, or basically they have to eat the flesh. Blood comes with the flesh, right? So, um, yeah. She's right by saying that she is twice as damned as we are. We're just half damned. Which is, I guess, cool. Can I just go outside this way? That's great. Oh, come on! Like, literally, how do I leave this place now? Ah! Uh, come on! We gotta do it somehow! It's impossible. Maybe through... Yeah, this way. I have myself a little... Oh, come on, I can't... I can't climb this thing. God damn it, Pisha! You told me to go out, but there's no, no possibility to even do that. Okay, so what I did is I resetted this whole area to change the position of the bed that was put on this little barricade. The problem is I put something right in front of these doors and now look. 
It don't open. Maybe in a while when I... Ah, oh, come on! There we go. Maybe now? Oh, yes! Good job, doors. And now I think we can actually... We... What? We can't? How is it possible to get out of this place then? Crap, damn it! Damn the crap of this game! God damn it! There we go! Oh my god! I had to use a glitch to actually get over that. Oh my goodness, that was horrible. I hope it won't happen again. I can't even go back there. Oh god damn it. Oh, I can't do it. Hey. Where is he? Oh my god. Oh my god, he left. Oh my god. Oh my god, we gotta find him. He's gonna spread the word about vampires. God damn it. Anyway, I have no idea where he is now, so... We probably gotta just walk around this place and meet new people and have fun and get some more quests, shall we? This is a very interesting place and I think it actually fits the quest we have in our quest log. Let's see. Dark blood or curse alight this vast. Such, such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. This kind of looks like a burning mystical sun, so let's go inside. Hello? Neef beds, do you also live here? Ah, interesting. Phomaturgical creatures. E. Bankins, Regent Chicago. Gaigos. During the medieval conflict with the Tsimitsi, Clan Tremere delved further into secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. They are no more than a detritus of other clans given a second chance to serve their Tremere creators. Unfortunately, many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery and have fled their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Most escaped gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their own kind. Common Cooley. For the most manual and mindless tasks, many Tremere create what is co called a homunculus. These are mindless creatures which take many forms, to winged, many-legged or otherwise. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to break in masquerade. Interesting. Oh, you could teleport it. Welcome. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. There we go. Yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are... Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. He's the regent of the clan Trimia. So I want to ask what the regent is. A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. What is a chantry, then? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here, as do apprentices from time to time. I'm new around here, Max. What's the word on the street? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. I appreciate the advice, uh, Dad. No, I just appreciate the advice, Strauss. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Yes, why? What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Dude, that shit is whack! Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. 
Camarilla, what's that all about? I kind of know, but you can explain a little bit more. The Camarilla. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. I see. Can I ask you a few more questions about the Camarilla? Surely. What else would you like to know? Uh, are all vampires a part of the Camarilla? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Yeah, good thing Nice Rodriguez was there to help me out. Ah, yes. The infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. Hmm. You're probably right. In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croix's side, which serves my purposes just the same. Your purposes? Aren't your purposes and the prince's the same? The Croy is a prince, neonate, and a ventru on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. <laughs> How Machiavellian of you. It's all right, you can trust me. What is your true opinion of him? I have overstepped my bounds. I will say no more. Don't worry. Fine. Tell me more about the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? Why aren't the Anarchs a part of the Camarilla? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat, both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. An interesting observation. Um, I have a few more questions about the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? What do you think of Prince Lacroix? Well, I ask him, but maybe we can get a little bit more. Lacroix is a prince, neon... Okay, so he is not telling me anything more. I'm sure you do. A few more questions? Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. Maybe I could look into the epidemic for you. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. I'll do it. We'll figure out what you owe me when I return. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called The Last Round. Local watering hole, what a great name to call a very terrible pub. Let's go, check in with you later. That's great. So for those of you who have no idea, the new bed, of course, it's kinda winks um, to the place that we are living in right now because we have just the same uh, name on our own mailbox in the Santa Monica. So here is the apartment that Tremere's can live at. If you are a Tremere in this game and if you act well, you can actually get yourself a pretty neat apartment there, which is really, really nice. But we are not Tremere, so we are unfortunately not getting that. Those were some horny little dolls. And they packed the game for me. I'm not sure what those, what those doors are doing with me right now, but I'm a little bit afraid. Oh god. Alright, I managed to reload the game and it lets me get out of this place. Well, Tremere's, I have to say, your blood magic is working in the mysterious ways. In the ways that 
don't really let a little Nosferatu out of your chantry. Anyway, we gotta go to the last round now, but before that, we're going to drink in the pub. We have to get ourselves a better attire. And for this, I actually have to go to a person that sells that in every new district you visit. Except for Santa Monica, which is the very first one, there will be people selling you stuff. And I think the first one of them is somewhere there. What is this? Interesting. Can you just go in there? Hello. <laughs> Damn, me! Don't be sneaking up on a brother with your crackhead skin disease test tube baby looking ass! Damn near shit my pants! I don't sell no soap, so what the hell you want? You sell things, what do you sell? Take a look! But I ain't got no rock, so I know you ain't interested. Let's see. There we go! Heavy clothing. This is a set of heavy clothing which acts as armor. Heavy clothing has an armor rating of 1. There are no set penalties for equipping it. Examples would be jackets, coats, thick sweaters and sturdy trousers. Buy it! There's also fire eggs. Is it better than my katana? Have a bubble gum. Okay! Oh, I can sell you the silver ring which I don't need at all. And the morphine, probably. So it has a melee combat requirement 5, damage potential is 20, while this has 22. I will buy this Fire X for myself. Hey! Say now, Wonder Girl, seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? So. Wow, 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 uh, that's your business, okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little actions all, alright? I am listening. Hey, I could use a Halloween-looking S&M gremlin like yourself to help haunt some people out of some loot for me. You still with me? Get to the point. Now here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tong and some local boys are meet down at a nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine should drop some Uncle Sam size bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? I'll do it. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight out hard boy terminator type. I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? Let's see what you got. But I actually don't want no firearm. I have obfuscate and stealth skills, so I maybe can just sneak inside. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's make it in a, into a stealth mission, shall we? Thank you, Fat Larry. But first of all, I actually really want to dress up in my new attire. Oh, yes, baby. Oh yes, baby! This is amazing! And there's a club in there, so you know what? I kinda wanna go in and check out what's in there. And dance a little bit, showing up my new dress to people around. Oh! Well, that's interesting. If you can see what's happening in there. A little BJ is happening in there. She just comes and goes, I guess. That's very interesting. So these doors were added in some kind of a patch and let me just say they are absolutely horrible. They make you not be able to go anywhere. I'm not sure who the hell thought that it's a good idea. Anyway. Hello. <laughs> I knew you'd talk to me. I swear you were all like totally drawn to me. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the LA vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird because I don't know of any parties going on. Vampires, huh? No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Who is this lucky someone? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking, dresses really well, like all Prada usually. 
Never heard of him. Happy? Oh, well, he's pretty powerful. He's probably, like, too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. All right, look, I have to go. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. I'm a buzzy girl. Oh, look. I haven't seen him in days. He said he'd come see me again. He promised. I might age. He promised I wouldn't get thirsty. You're pathetic. Well, fine. You're just some ugly, fledgling bitch. I've hung out with way more powerful vampires than you'll ever know. I wouldn't drink your gutter blood if you were the last vampire on Earth. So I won't be getting a Christmas card is what you're saying. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's too bad. She's super annoying. And we'll probably get back to her later. Anyway. Hi. Wait, wait, where are you running? All oh, right, the ugliness. That's too bad. Ugh, corpse fluids playing over at possession. This is confession. No marsh pits in my establishment. Well, that's too bad. She has quests for other people, but uh, it's no quest for me. Look at awesome I look like, though. <laughs> now no one dances. Oh, they do. See, they enjoy me. What? At least this guy enjoys me. I'm not interested. That's okay. I'm not interested. Uh, not interested. Bitch. Okay, I think it's the final time to go first the last round and then to the place where Prince resides. So we can actually continue the main story. But first of all, I really want to go to the main Anarchs hideout in this place. Oh, some shootings. I told you, downtown is a place with a lot of trouble in there. Baby sale. The Peckoning. Coming soon. We've been in the walk-in. That's nice. Stop shooting yourself. Anyway, this is the place called the last round and this is the place we shall go to. Hello, fellow Anax. And you on there that wants to talk with me? Hey! Hi! Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla Benevolence. What does the prince have his little bitch doing today? Funny. Is nice with Rukas around here? Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your weapon. I'm scared. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Alright, you get three minutes to talk, baby. What's up? None of this vampire shit makes any sense to me. You've got to understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel... Curse! That blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Why do we say that? Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will fall, it'll make you obey. How can you break free? That shit stretches all the way back to Cain, man. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you gon' feel that shit. Like it or not. Who's Cain? Cain, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Some heavy shit, sister. You mean came from the Bible? Really, is that true? Keep your voice down. Is Cain real? I don't know. I'm not sure I want him. I hear you, but where are you going with this? The point is, with this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? Well, have you got against the Camarilla? The Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. Masquerade. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? Sure. Yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always fly. 
What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn command? I kind of see your point. I have to say. Right. See, we weren't meant to live like that. And I followed someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam, but it wasn't until after the embrace that I understood real oppression. So the others are the way, huh? Anarchs. We are the only ticket to free living in the afterlife, my friend. What about Nines? Isn't he just like the prince of the Anarchs? No one bows to Nines Rodriguez. He leads by example. Down here with us. Chicken shit, limpers, paper pusher hiding up in his tower. But you agree with the masquerade? I don't need to bear my fangs to feel good about myself. The masquerade is a fruity camera river lake. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with it. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. Amen. You know, speaking of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Tell me about it. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. It's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. Ah, uh, her name wouldn't happen to be Patty, would it? Yeah, Patty. You must know who I'm talking about. Here. So what's the problem? She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Doesn't she understand he's gone? Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again louder. Damn junkie. She's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. What kind of heat you are talking about? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me. Hunters are the kind of trouble you don't want. Hmm. Well, what's the problem with this girl? She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? Ah, I think for my Enric brethren, of course. Let's pose as a friend for them. Alright, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know a side. Just let me know when it's done. Alright, but I've got a few more questions before I go. Yeah? Someone? Yeah, who do you want to know about? What about Jack? What's his deal? That's the man. Righteous kid. I wish he'd take a more active stance in our fight. Fuck, man, he's Jack. Jack just does his thing. God help anyone who gets in the way. I love this guy. Uh, thank you. Good. Actually, let's go to Jack right now. Right away. Hello, Jack. Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. Out in Santa Monica, you know. It was okay. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of skee-ball tickets down on the pier there? Uh, yeah, no price though. I didn't save up enough tickets. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Uh, it wasn't so bad. Well, if you're cool with that treatment, you'll make a great Camarilla. They love pussy. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying I did what I had to do. I didn't like it. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> I run into nines. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> you said you guys let those sabat go too. Nines must be getting soft. How can you pass up that kind of toy? How come he keeps holding me and helping and... How come he keeps helping me? Well, well he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Oh, it's my little brother. He's got a thing for the little guy. Okay, how do you think this about found me? Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you and see what you think. What if the prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? No way. Hey, it's just a theory, man, but who else is going to be watching you so closely, knowing where you're going and all that? What would Lacroix help the Sabbat? I'm not saying he's working with the Sabbat. I know he is. But he sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street that the Sabbat would pick up on it. Just chew on that. 
I guess I wouldn't put it past him. It's how the Camarilla works, kiddo, trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. That's what I call dirty politics. Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer, keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Cause Prince LaCroix said so. He doesn't follow his rules. Ah, <laughs> oh, kid, I never answered to no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. Alright, why did the prince send me to Santa Monica? How, what do you think? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. I don't get it. Why did he want to kill me? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. So how come I am still standing here? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Ventura were born in a poor room. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Not into public relations, are you, Jack? Yeah, man. It's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. I love you, Jack. Is LaCroix afraid of Nines? I thought he was the boss. Roy is the boss of the Camarilla in LA. That's it. Hm. LaCroix is the boss. <laughs> That's rich. So you're not part of the Camarilla? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. That's got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> okay. So tell me about the Anarchs then. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? How long has the Anarch movement existed? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. What's any of that shit mean anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? It's good to know your history. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever going to be easy. But some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. How can you win, though? Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> Alright, uh, does Nines share your vision? You bet, kid. Uh, is he in church here? As much as anywhere is. Nines is a stand-up guy. He takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain's wired to that shit. What about the rest of the Nines crew? Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of the Nines crew. What clan are you? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. I've got a few more questions. Right along. Camarilla. Oh, my favorite topic. How about the Camarilla ideals? Don't think that Camarilla has a monopoly on those ideals, okay, kid? No one is arguing over that shit, and if they tell you that's what this fight is all about, then they're really giving you the full fist. You hear me? It wouldn't surprise me if they were. The Camarilla protects the people running the Camarilla. That's it, the end. The rest of them are bloody gristle for the machine. Is Lacroix one of the big boys? Ah, not one of the bigs, but he ain't out risking his ass in the street, that's for sure. Lacroix has ambitions of joining that inner circle. Delivering Los Angeles in their pocket would look killer on a resume. The Camarilla does good things too. Maybe that outweighs the bad stuff. Not bad. Evil. Man, think of a country at the same dictator for 500 years. It's also a blood-drinking predator. Think there's gonna be some evil shit come out of that equation? So, do you have the problem with the whole Camarilla or just the leadership? I'm not saying let's go towards the Malkavian living under the abandoned hotel because she happens to be a Camarilla. I'm saying let's change that shit from the top down. How do we know who's the bad guy then? Camarilla membership is 95% victims, 5% evil bastards. But make sure and understand, any of those victims points a gun at me, they get drained and slaughtered like sheep. What about me? Am I part of the problem or what? 
Hey, man, you do what you gotta do to survive when you're young, but there comes a time when that excuse don't fly no more. When you should know better and want to do something about it. I just don't think I'm there yet. That's why you're sitting here listening. School's in, kiddo. <laughs> Maybe the Camarilla has a point. There was something wrong with the discipline. Ah, beware the protection of wolves. More questions? Moving right along. About the Camarilla. Oh, my favorite topic. A uh, Prince Lacroix. Out of hell with Lacroix. I blasted better vampires' brains all over the wall. He's not the prince. He's a prince. You've dealt with princes like him in the past. He's a typical Ventrue asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah, man, the guy's a pussy. He just got lucky he showed up in L.A. at the right time. He's just stupid and lucky. I'm not saying he's stupid. He's just an asshole who needs his teeth kicked in, that's all. What do you think about the sheriff? Oh, the sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped-up gorilla. Okay, so more questions then? What else did you need some truth about? About the uh, bats, I guess? Again, does everything have to be about these dickheads? I hope not. The Saban are worthless, man. Fake tits on a zombie worthless. Fun to watch, though. Like the Three Stooges with chainsaws. They are anti-Camarilla. Yeah, they oppose the Camarilla, but they suck when it comes to execution. What's wrong with them? The Sabat are in the same business as the Camarilla. Sabat have a little longer chain, but they're slaves all the same. More questions? Moving right along. What about Anax? That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? Uh, I think I know everything Moving in right there. Along. Someone else? What's on your mind? Humans. What about them? Don't they sometimes get in the way? Ah, man, we got our own. Let the kin sink or swim. More questions then? Right along. Something What's else. On your mind? Actually, I don't have any more questions. One more thing. What's up? I'm out of here. Thank you, Jack, for this educational conversation that was really eye opening. What about the upstairs? Hi! It's about chase you in here, Cammy. What are we talking about? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting his money long enough to get your back, Jack? What do you mean, again? Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for LaCroix anyway. Got himself a new errand girl out of it. Did I do something to piss you off? As long as you're a tool for some cape, you don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. What's a cape? Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders? The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention? You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. I like to play for the... What alternative do I have? You want an alternative? Being here, that's a step in the right direction. I'm Damsel, dead mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the floor will do. The Tremere Regent says an Narada is responsible for a local epidemic. That goddamn flood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! <laughs> What's a plague bearer? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed them. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. And if you're sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Okay, so vampires drink the blood from the diseased humans, and they, they drink another humans, and the disease spreads this way. Although we are not sick, we make humans sick, which is kind of dangerous. So how do we get rid of one? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearers gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. The others cut me out before, where do I start? One of our boy's ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. I'll go check it out. <laughs> or ghouls, why is it always ghouls? Fine, I'll check out when on him when I can. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I'll ask around by damsel. 
Thank you. What about you, sugar? You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. Oh, yeah, you're, you're just not. just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. That's okay, you're still super handsome. Go on! You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. I'm looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to as this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Aren't you a part of the Camarilla? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. So what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. Anarch Free State? The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Have you tried meeting with the Camarilla? Or... Nah, that's stupid. Not the fun of the Prince, huh? The Croy represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. I would try to meeting with them. I got their meeting right here. Oh, 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 oh hold your horses. <laughs> Sounds like you're the prince of the... No, 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 okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta be... <sighs> I... <laughs> Both those answers are bad. Are stupid. I'll make you even more mad, but... Sounds like you're a, a prince of the Anarchs, kind of. Like you've just lead them. No such thing. Okay, and good, again, good. Maybe? Don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beat down. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't faded or switched sides. The most veteran souls in the battle. One more question. Any advice you can give me? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Don't teach me how to fight! After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Oh, stats increased. Thanks for all your help, Nines. LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Okay. I like you having an eye on me. It's pretty cute. Freak, come on, look at look at me! Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm too ugly for him to look at me. Well, anyway, let's spend the rest of the night drinking those leftover beers in there because for sure there are last gulps in every each one of them. While looking at the Santosa? Santosa. Or however they pronounce that. Anyway, let's do that and uh, on the next episode we gotta visit the prince and see the other side of the story. The other side of the politics, the Camarilla side. And we'll try to think, probably, on which side should we be at. Because I think the game won't let us be neutral for the whole time. We gotta pick a side one day. So, yeah, let's do it. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And you can visit my uh, Twitch and Twitter for more content. Thank you so much for watching this series. And see you in the next episode. Bye!